Thanks for coming to this presentation. The topic is about NGL recovery. Particularly, it is about ethane. In a cryogenic NGL gas processing plant, sometimes we need to recover ethane, while the other time we need to reject ethane. Recover or reject, it all depends on ethane market. Enerflex has a novel configuration to maximize plant profit regardless of the market. Imagine you are riding in a train with me. Our ride will last about 13 minutes long with five stops. The first stop is the introduction to Enerflex. In the second stop, I will explain the challenge we are facing. In the third stop, I will describe Enerflex solution to the challenge. In the fourth stop, you will learn something about a real plant that applied Enerflex solution. The final stop is something for you to take away. At the bottom of the slides, there's a navigation bar so that you can better follow my thought of train. Please sit tight. Our journey is about to begin. Enerflex is a global leader in delivering natural gas solutions. The company operates in 17 countries with 57 locations and about 2,000 employees. Enerflex offers four cycle solutions, including engineered systems, integrated turnkey, aftermarket services and parts, and asset ownership. The core products Enerflex offers are from production to the market. Specifically, Enerflex offers gas compression, process and treating, and power generation to our customers. The solution we are talking about today is within our gas processing solutions. Here is a quick introduction about myself. My name is Guo Fu Chen. I'm a senior process engineer at Enerflex Energy Systems. I'm also a professional chemical and mechanical engineer licensed in the states of Texas and Louisiana. My areas of expertise are renewable energy, pressure relief valve, natural gas liquid, and liquefied natural gas. I like to attend conferences like this one to speak and learn. So why am I speaking here? Because we have a challenge and a solution as well. As we know, there are lots of components in natural gas, methane, ethane, propane, and the heaviest. Methane is primarily for residential use and power plants. On the contrary, propane and the heaviest are primarily used for petrochemical feedstock. Ethane is somewhere in between. It can be recovered from natural gas as a liquid and sold by the gallon, primarily for ethanol production, or it can be rejected to natural gas stream and sold by the MMBTU as a component of gaseous fuel. To determine the economics of cryogenic ethane recovery plants, a term called frac spread is introduced here. Essentially, it is the revenue difference between ethane sold as liquid versus ethane sold at a gas price. Here is the terminology used in this presentation. When you hear recovery, you know ethane is sold as a liquid, and typically we use GSP technology. When I say rejection, you understand ethane is sold as gas, and OHR technology and the like are typically used. Frac spread is the revenue difference between liquid and gas. This is an old graph about ethane frac spread published by Point Logic Energy. The date range was from 2010 to 2015. From this graph, we can clearly see prior to 2013, frac spread is well above zero. It means you should recover ethane and sell it as liquid to maximize profit. From 2013 to 2015, ethane frac spread hovers around zero. It means you can either recover ethane as liquid or reject ethane as gas. The profit does not make much difference. 
In this newer graph, the date is extended to the first quarter of this year. The x-axis is time, and the y-axis is frac spread in dollar per gallon. Red column is gas price, while blue column is liquid price. The green column is liquid price minus gas price minus transportation cost. From 2014 to 2015, ethane frac spread is below zero after taking into account transportation cost. This is slightly different from previous graph. I think the previous graph probably did not take into account transportation cost. With negative frac spread, it means ethane recovered as liquid is losing profit. During 2014 and 2015, plants recovering ethane had a bad time, while plants rejecting ethane had a good time. On the contrary, for the time about 2018, liquid ethane price really spiked because several ethylene crackers went into operation and there was a temporary ethane shortage. During this time, plants recovering ethane had a happy time, while plants rejecting ethane had a sad time. With the two choices of ethane, recover or reject, neither seems to be a good solution. But if you have to choose, which one will you choose? Luckily, life does not have to be that hard. Enerflex has a solution to solve the challenge. Instead of choosing from either or, Enerflex offers a solution with both end. Combined with two technologies, our customers can choose to recover ethan when liquid ethan price is high. They can also choose to reject ethan when liquid ethan price is low. Regardless of the market, our customers can always maximize profit. For ethan recovery, people typically use a gas subcooled process technology, or GSP, patented by Orloff engineers several decades ago. Feed gas is split and cooled in three heat exchangers, and then it is further cooled in the chiller before sending to the cold separator. The liquid from the separator is fed to the fractionator. Part of the gas is expanded in the expander before entering the bottom of absorber. The other part of the gas is subcooled in the reflux condenser before entering the top of the absorber. There are side draws in the fractionator to improve the column distillation. NGL is withdrawn at the bottom of the fractionator, while sales gas is taken from the top of the absorber, heated to the ambient temperature, and then boosted to a higher pressure in the booster. For ethan rejection, the process is similar. Here is a typical overhead recycle process to reject ethan. This diagram shows both ethan recovery and rejection mode. Ethan recovery is colored in blue, while ethan rejection is colored in red. Equipment-wise, recovery mode requires a bottom heater while rejection mode requires a reboiler. The most important difference between these two modes is the absorber reflux stream. In ethan recovery mode, the reflux comes from the cold separator, which has very little ethan in it. In contrast, in rejection mode, the reflux comes from the top of the fractionator, which has quite some ethan in it. Enerflex combines these two technologies in one plant so the operator can choose the most appropriate operating mode to maximize plant profit, regardless of the market. Time flies. I did not realize we already passed the challenge and the solution stops. Now we are at the application stop. The solution I mentioned before was implemented in a 200 million scoff a day plant in the US in 2018. There is about 13% more fraction ethane in the feed gas. 
it is equivalent to 695,100 gallons per day ASIN. The plant is currently running smooth and steady. Let us take a look at the plant's economics by going back in time, even though the plant was installed in 2018. In the fourth quarter of 2014, ASIN price is 21.3 cents per gallon if recovered as a liquid, or $3.724 per mm BTU if sold as gas. The revenue of a liquid is about $120,000 per day, while the gas revenue is about $172,000 per day. The ethan frac spread per day is about negative $51,000 per day. If the plant was in recovery mode, the plant would have lost $51,000 per day. In contrast, the plant would have made $51,000 per day if in rejection mode. So a smart plant operator would have chosen to reject ethan at that time. Now let us take a look at the third quarter of 2018. If the plant was designed to reject ethan only, the plant would have lost about $100,000 per day. Luckily, with Interflex novel configuration, the plant made $100,000 per day by recovering ethan instead of rejecting ethan. Thanks for riding with me along the way. We have gone through four stops already, introduction, challenge, solution, and application. Now we are at the final stop. Here is something for you to take away. ASIN market is hard to predict and full of uncertainty. Luckily, technology is predictable. By combining two technologies, Interflex customers can always maximize profit regardless of the market. On the contrary, plants equipped with only one technology will always lead to potential profit loss, no matter which technology is chosen. It has been a great pleasure spending the time with you. If you have any questions or comments, I can be reached through the email on the screen. I wish you all have a great day.